Before watching our videos, please subscribe to our channel and then tap the bell button so that you can receive our new videos notification fast. Top 6 Tips for Taking Care of a Newborn Baby Here are the top 10 tips for taking care of a newborn baby. 1. Hold your baby with care Newborn babies have very floppy necks, as the muscles have not developed properly. The muscles start developing within the first few months, but until then parents should always be sure to fully support the baby's neck. Proper support will prevent the head from moving in an uncontrolled way, which could damage the baby's brain. Supporting the head and neck will also make it easier for you to hold your baby, and your baby would be less prone to jumping out of one's arms. Always support your baby's head and neck with your hands when you hold him. Try to cradle the head when carrying your baby. Also, support your baby's head when carrying him upright and when you lay him down. 2. Help your baby latch on during breastfeeding The decision to breastfeed your baby is one of the best gifts you can give to your newborn. Breast milk has many health benefits, including strengthening your baby's immunity. When it comes to breastfeeding, a good latch is very important, since improper latching can cause breast discomfort. A good latch means the baby's mouth covers both your nipple and the areola, this way the baby's mouth, tongue and lips will massage the milk out of your milk glands. To get a good latch, hold your baby facing your breast and tickle the baby's lip with your nipple to make the mouth open very wide. Once the mouth is open wide, bring your baby forward toward your breast. Keep a hold of your breast until your baby has a firm grasp and is suckling well. Allow your baby to nurse from both breasts, at least 10 minutes on each side. If you are having latch on issues while breastfeeding, you can use breast shields to help the process. 3. Do not forget to burp your baby The air that your baby takes in during breastfeeding can interfere with your little one's digestion. This can make your baby feel uneasy and even lead to colic pain. Hence, it is important to make your baby burp to free the system of excess air. This simple trick will keep your baby's stomach troubles at bay. Burping Upright positions generally work most effectively. 1. Place your newborn in a sitting position, facing forward on your lap. 2. Support your baby with one hand on the baby's front and lean him or her forward slightly. 3. Gently pat your baby's back to release air from the tummy. 4. Listen for the slight burping sound. You can also place your baby upright on your shoulder and gently pet her back. 4. Give only sponge baths in the beginning It is very important to give your newborn baby sponge baths until the remaining umbilical cord falls off. Always remember, when the umbilical cord is kept dry, it falls off faster. This may take two to three weeks. Even if the umbilical cord gets wet, pat it dry. When giving your baby a sponge bath, always use lukewarm water and avoid scrubbing your baby's gentle skin too hard. Bear in mind that newborns don't get very dirty. After the umbilical cord stump falls off, you'll be able to give your baby a real bath. Giving your baby a couple of times a week is fine during the first year. 5. Make the baby sleep on the back even if it is for a short nap during the day. Place your baby on his or her back. This is the safest sleep position for a healthy baby. This sleep position, recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics, reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, also called crib death. Make sure your baby's face and head stay uncovered while sleeping. Keep blankets and other your baby's mouth and nose. It is better if you make it a habit of dressing your baby in appropriate sleep clothing so that there is no need to use blankets or other coverings. If you do put a blanket on your sleeping baby, make sure that the baby's feet are at the bottom of the crib and the blanket is no higher than the baby's chest. Keep the blanket tucked in around the bottom of the crib mattress so it doesn't slide up to your baby's face. 6. Tend to diaper duty timely Though diaper changing can be messy and smelly at times, 
It is one duty that you need to take seriously. A wet or spoiled diaper can make your baby prone to infection as well as itchy and painful diaper rashes. Hence, you need to keep checking your baby's diaper from time to time. Change your baby's diaper frequently and as soon as possible after bowel movements. Before putting on a new diaper, wipe the skin thoroughly and apply a barrier cream. This will work as a barrier against moisture. If possible, allow your baby to go without a diaper from time to time. This gives the skin a chance to breathe and air out. Note, before diapering your baby, make sure you have all the supplies within reach so you won't have to leave your baby unattended on the changing table.